Good evening. Welcome back to a new class. Hello, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, glad to see you again. We are ready to start now. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. Welcome. Thank you. How are you, teacher? I'm really nice. Thank you. Uh, very good. I'm ready, teacher. Ready to start, okay? Yes. I like that. Okay, we have only five now. We are going to wait for the rest, okay?
I got seven, seven students, okay. Remember that uh, we are so close to finish. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to check up your, your grades and put it in the, in the grade chart. And the next weeks, we are going to add only just the uh, week number four. For the reason I invite you to do it, to have everything ready. We are eight now. But you are very shy. You don't want to talk. You can share your, your plan for vacation in quote. Vacacion entre comillas. It is costly. If you are going to finish next Friday, that means that the rest of the time you are going to be free. Mm -hmm. That means you can plan to go to different places with your family and relatives and friends. Let me see the attendance. Ana Cristina, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, Ana de Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome, Angel Narciso. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Uh -huh. There. Fatima del Carmen. It's not here. Giovanni Alexander. Mm 
Giovanni Herson Manuel Juan Carlos present Ah, it's there, it's there. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda Yvette. She's uh, on traffic now. Maria Julia. Present. There. Marlene Nicole. Marlene. Present. Nancy Yvette. Nancy Yvette. It's not here. Norma Carolina. Norma. No yet here. Okay. Um, Rafael. Rafa is not here. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Eh, Suleima Veronica. It's not here, Suleima. Okay, let me see what else I need to see here. I'm going to give you uh, a little more time in order that the rest can get into the platform. Okay, let me see what we, what we wanna do in order to start today. I'm going to show you a letter and you are going to create a word using the letter. And then as soon as you tell me the, the, the word that you are going to create with the letter, you are going to tell me a name. The name of the, the person is going to create a sentence using the present continuous that we started yesterday. Okay, let me see. I'm looking for a word. Okay, here we go. If you have the word, just raise your hand. Quien quiera uh, crear la palabra con la letra que sea la, a la inicial. La letra que voy a mostrar, solo levanta su manito ahí. 
para darle paso, por favor, para que lo hagamos ordenado. Ok, here we go. Juan Carlos. Pencil. Mm, mm, ok, pencil. Ok, let, let, let me switch a little bit uh, the interaction. It's, it's right what you said. Está correcto lo que dijo. But in order that uh, your classmate can create sentences, it is going to be better if you tell me a bear that I start with this letter. Es mejor que me digan un verbo que inicie con esa letra para Planning. que luego. Excuse me. Planning. Ah, okay. Now tell me a name of one of your classmates. Repeat, teacher, please. Give me a name of one of your classmates. Mention a name. Mencione un nombre de uno de sus compañeros. Harrison. Is here Harrison? I don't see Harrison. Another person. The, 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 the one that are present, please. De los que están presentes. Okay. Looking for. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos is there. Okay. Okay, repeat the, the verb to Juan Carlos in order that he can create the, the sentence. Uh, I am planning a visit to, to the beach. I am planning to visit the beach. Okay. Let me choose another one. What about with this letter? No watch teacher. Me teacher. It, if I put it in this way. Me teacher. Call. Ah, okay, cool. That's right. Give me a name, please. Julie. Okay, then Maria Julia. Yes. Okay, Maria Julia, could you create a sentence using the verb call? Using the structure that we studied yesterday? Hello, Julie. Maria Julia. Are you there, Maria Julia? No, it's not there. Another name, please. Angel, give me another name. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina, let me see where it is. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina Chavarria.
No escucha el verbo, teacher. Uh, the verb is call. Es cool. Call, call, call. Eh. Somebody want, uh, if somebody wants to give her a hand, Si alguien más quiere ayudarle. Mi teacher. Ok. Eh, I am calling a friend of Junay uh, Stay. Ok. Thank you. And the last and the last letter is going to be. Let me see. I'm going to choose another letter. Okay, let me see. This letter is going to be. Can you see it now? Thinking. Ah, okay. Tell me a name, please. Um... Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia Martinez, could you create a sentence using the word think in progressive? I, I am thinking. Uh, go the mall. Um, I am thinking to go to the mall. To go to the mall tomorrow. To spend my bonus, my aguinaldo. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, 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 no. It's not that. Okay, okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Let us start with the, with the, the the topic that we have for today because we already started class. Okay, we have two questions. The first one said, what are, what are some qualities a good employee need to have? Let me see, this is the, the same as yesterday, I guess. Let me see. Let me check up something here. I want to be pretty sure about because this question. Let me see the question. I got the right one. Yes, it is the same. I don't know why, but got the same, almost the same question yesterday. Well, appeared in the same way, the material. Okay, let us continue and talk about the questions. I got it here. Okay, what, what are some qualities a good employee need to have? And what is the essential quality to get a promotion? We already talked about this, I guess, but you can add extra information about it. Tell me. Responsibility. Okay, we talk about responsibility, right? What else? Rockview. Okay, what else? Honesty. Honesty. Okay. What else? E efficiency. Efficiency. Okay. What else? Collaborative. 
collaborate, okay, collaborate with uh, with the rest of of the worker. What else? What else do you remember? Remember that these questions are a kind of review in order to know exactly if you keep in mind all those qualities that we mentioned yesterday. Leader. Excuse me? Leader. Leader. Yes, teacher. Okay, he needs to be a leader, okay. What else? Working group, teacher. Teamwork. No se le escucha, teacher. What's going on? Okay, thank you. I don't know what's going on with my microphone. Suddenly I stopped working. Okay, let us continue then. We already talked about this question. Okay, we are going to read the employee's performance report and discuss with the partner who is the best candidate to be promoted, okay? So uh, let us go to the material. Play number 37. Do you have it? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Okay. But I'm going, I'm going to share it with you too, in order that you can see it there. Okay. We have it here. Read the employee's performance. We pull this code with the partner who is the best candidate to be promoted. And we have uh, two different column. We have uh, Raul Perez and we have Karen Solano. Okay. Employees performance report, employees name, Raul Perez. The employee show commitment to work Yes, it is over and punctual. No, does not violate rules. Check it. Follow indication. Lies to working group. Focuses on his responsibilities. Completes the words assigned. Is a leader, yes or not? Is he a leader? No. He's not a leader, okay. Communicate ideas. Is proactive. Is collaborative. 
has a positive up attitude. And you can read uh, the next one about Karen Solana. Yeah. And based on that, we are going to talk about it. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can read it and later on we are going to discuss something a little bit. Okay, you can read it now. Read it carefully because we are going to discuss based on the information that we have, you are going to decide which one is going to be promoted. And you need to tell me why do you think that As soon as you finish reading, just let me know, please. Did you finish? No? No, yet.
Okay, we are going to read it together in order to understand some expression. Let me show you. Okay, let me see who wants to read it. Okay, I got it here. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? the third one? The information about Raul Perez. Only one, please, no more than one. Alguien que desee leer la información en voz alta. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? No volunteers to read? Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Employee's name, Raul Perez. The employee show coming, commitment to work is always punctual, does not violate rules, follows indication, likes to work in group, focus, on his responsibilities, completes the work as in is a leader, communicates ideas, is productive, is collaborate. Uh, how do you say it's collaborate? I'm 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 hitting hitting you in a low volume. I don't know why. Maybe you are having a problem with your microphone. Le estoy oyendo bien bajo en volumen. Okay. You can fix it now. Employee's name, Raul Perez. The employee shows commitment to work. Is always punctual. Does not violate rules. Follows indication. Lies to work in group. Focus on his responsibilities. Completes. The work as seen is a leader, communicates ideas, is productive, is collaborative. Uh, collaborative. Collaborative has a positive attitude. Attitude, attitude, okay. aptitude. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Somebody else wants to read it? Me teacher. Okay, do it. Employees perform report. Employee name Karen Solano. The employee show commitment to work. Is always always punctual. Does not violent rules. Follow indication. Like to work in group. Focus on his responsibility. Then complete the work assignment. Is a leader, communicates ideas, is proactive, is collaborative, has positive attitude, observation. She usually can't play, but she does violent the rules sometimes. Also, she does have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has a leadership skill. Uh -huh, okay. We have some observation there based on the information that we have previously. 
but there are some words that I need that you fix it. Okay, somebody who wants to read? ¿Alguien más que quiera leerlo? Cualquiera, teacher. Yeah, you can decide. Okay. Employees per performance reports. Employees, Nay Raúl Pérez. The employee shows commitment to work, is always punctual, does no violent rules, follows indications, likes to work in group, focus on his responsibilities, Com completes the word assignment, is a leader, communicate ideas, is proactive, is collaborative, has a positive attitude, uh, attitude, algo así dijo. Observations, he usually comes late, he already has to warnings for coming late to work, but he, he signed up a coming leader. leader. He doesn't have leadership skills and he is not a proactive person. It is not a proactive person, okay. Okay, thank you, I'm going to read again. Employee's name, Karen Solano. The employee shows commitment to work. It is always punctual. Does not violate rules. Listen, does not violate rules. Follow indications. Likes to work in group. Focus on his responsibilities. Completes the work assigned. Is a leader. Communicates ideas is proactive, is collaborative, has a positive attitude. Observation, she usually comes late, but she does violate the rules sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has leadership skills. And when we read the observation about Raul Perez, we can see that said as follows. He usually comes late. Ah, that means the boss of them arrive late. He already uh, has two warning for coming late to work. But in this case, Raul has warnings. But what about Karen? Hello. Are you following me? No? Me, teacher. Uh, hola. <laughs> hola. Hola, teacher. Bueno, uh, employees performance report. Employees uh, name Karen Solano. The employees should communicate to work is always punctual, does not violent rules, follow indication, likes to work in group, focuses on this um, responsibility, completes the word assignment, is a letter, communication eating, is proactive, is collab collaborative, as a positive attitude, I, I see, repeat esa palabra, please. Teacher. Is collaborative, has a positive attitude. As a positive attitude. Has, has a positive attitude. As a positive attitude. Yeah. Has a positive attitude. 
observation. She usually comes later, but she does violate the ruling sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a possibility attitude in some cases, but she has leadership case. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to read the, the observation. Listen. He usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work. But he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he is no a proactive person. Okay, I consider that now we can discuss. What can you tell me? You already saw the information about uh, bosses then. And now, and I need that you tell me in your point of view, with, um, who is the best candidate to be promoted? I'm going to assign you a breakout room and another that you can discuss. And at the end, you are going to tell me what do you think about it? I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you can talk and discuss. Here we go. Welcome, Linda. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I know that you are uh, making a big effort in order to be in the class. <laughs> and I do really appreciate your effort. Right now, we are uh, discussing some information that you can find in your book on page, let me see, I'm going to tell you, on page 37. Okay, and 47, 47, yeah. ah, okay. Yeah, uh, exercise number two, employees performance report. We are talking about Raul Perez and Karen Solano. And they are discussing 
who is the best candidate to be promoted based on the information that we have in the book. Ah, okay. You, you can read it and at the end, take your time and you can give me your point of view. What do you think that is the best for the to be promoted? Okay, teacher. Okay. I, I, I'm going to read. Okay, read. Okay, thanks. Okay, who, who wants to start telling me? Who is the best candidate? And tell me the reason why do you think that? Tell me, sir. I think Karen Solano should be what? promoted. Should be promoted because she's a leader. Really? Really, teacher. Mm. She has leadership skills. Okay, what else can you add to your argument? ¿Qué más le puede agregar a su argumento? La razón. Ok. Thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Tell me. What do you think about this situation? Hello. Teacher. Juan Carlos, tell me, Juan Carlos. Employees, Karen is, uh, is the ideal can, candidate uh, because he's a leader and proactive. Um, and puntual responsibility. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Try to use uh, sentences at the moment that you are given the reason why you consider that is the best candidate to that position. For example, you can say, well, in my opinion, I think the best candidate is because he or she, and you add the information, Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Ali. Somebody else, please. Give me your point of view. Me, teacher. Christina, Stephanie. Let, let, um, let, let, let me see your arguments. Um, I think with, with Giovanni um, Karen Solano, she'll be compromised because she has leadership skill. He's a collaborator collaborative lead to work in group is import she show commitment to work ah, okay only that teacher okay okay thank you somebody else want to say something about it No. 
Come on, you can do it. Teacher, I think Karen okay. Solano. Okay, I okay, okay, go ahead. Because she has many variety for uh, to her promote. How is a leader in, in Nice to work in group, is productive. Uh, only. only that, okay. Teacher. Hello, hello, okay. Uh, uh, teacher, Tell me. I think Raul. <laughs> okay, give me your reason. Yes, I should be promoted uh, because uh, he doesn't violate the ruling. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He doesn't violate rules. Let me see the information. Okay. Let me see if you what you are saying it is true. Let me see. Does not violate rule. Uh -huh. Okay, you are you are right. Okay, in order that you can give me a better opinion, you can take a look at exercise number three. And there you are going to find out a way how you can start your paragraph. For example, uh, you start and say, I think, and you, in, in the gap, this is the gap in el espacio. You can put the name of uh, Raul or the name of the lady, Karen. Right? Should be promoted because that means that you are going to uh, support your your answer. That is what I want to see. That you support your answer. But it's going to be better if you start with this kind of word. I think, I guess, I believe, I consider. Different way how you can start. Okay, continue, please. Somebody else want to say something about it? If you don't want to say, I think you can say, in my point of view, yeah, I believe that the best person for this position or to be promoted is Angel because, and you start saying all the information. Of course, we are not talking about Angel in the book, but I'm, I'm giving you some examples. It, it, this situation is it is like if somebody asks me, okay, what can you tell me about your students? And I can give an opinion. And I can say different things, you know. I keep in mind all the people that every day participate and try to do your best in order to learn. And I see another one that uh, they want to participate, but sometimes nervous, don't let them do it. Y yo sé que todos están con el deseo de participar, pero algunos los nervios ahí les dicen, no, no, no lo haga, no lo haga. Y usted debe de decirle, sí, lo voy a hacer, porque yo tengo el control de mi vida. I have the control of my life. And for that reason, I'm going to do it. Okay, somebody else want to say something about it? No? Okay, okay, I'm going to check out the attendance again. En lo que reviso la asistencia, piensa, piensa, piensa. Aquí se trata de pensar. 
the critical thinking. We need to develop the critical thinking. Debemos de desarrollar el pensamiento crítico para dar nuestro juicio de valor sobre diferentes situaciones. Eso es muy importante. Remember, we are close to finish, only one week. And then you are going to start the next year. You are going to start a new level. Okay, Ana Cristina, are you there? Ana? Oh, no. Okay. Ana del Carmen. Present. Angel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Ahí está Fátima. Excelente. Eh, Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Ahí. Present teacher. Ahí está Giovanni. Harrison. I don't know what is happening with Harrison. Maybe because his job is... Ok, Juan Carlos Palacios. Present. Ahí está Juan Carlos. Karen. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present, teacher. María Julia. María Julia. Marlene Mijo. Present. Nancy. Present teacher. Ahí está Nancy, va. Norma. Norma. Present teacher. Ahí. Present. Y ustedes diciéndome, no, no está Norma ni nada. Sí, vaya. Aquí he estado, teacher. Aquí ahí, ahí, ahí está. <risa> you see, they are there. Rafael. Present teacher. Hoy no había hablado Rafa. I don't know what is happening with Rafa. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. And Suleima Veronica Melgar. Okay, Harrison and Suleima. They are not here with us today. Okay, and the last opinion about this activity. I need that somebody give me your point of view, but support your ideas. And you are going to tell me, okay. I already gave you another example how you can start your, your speech. No, anybody? No one of you want to tell something more about it? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, I, I invite you to go to the next page, page number 38. This is a one. There we are going to read. Of course, we already read the, 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 pre, the previous employee performance report and ask and answer a question about them. We are going to ask and answer a question about them. But before you can see uh, this information, we are going to go back a little bit to the previous page. Nos vamos a regresar un poquito a la página anterior. And I'm going to ask you to create some yes, no question based 
on the information that you have in your book. Try to create as many questions as you can related to both of them. I don't know if you got my message. Lo que necesito es que basado en la información que tenemos de cada uno de ellos, creen preguntas, yes, no question about both of them acerca de ambos. Is that possible for you? You can start in order. For example, number one in case of Raul Perez or Karen Solano, I can say, does she, does she show commitment to work? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. See, if I talk about Karen, but if I talk about Raul, does he show commitment to work? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Okay, you can continue creating question related to Raul or Karen. Try to do it now, please. And then we are going to read it. Do you remember how to use do and does in order to ask question? How you are going to do if you have a bit form in a sentence and you want to switch into question? Are you going to continue using do or does? Yes or not? Tell me. Repeat the question, please. Excuse me? Repeat, repeat the question. Okay, I'm going to repeat the question. Um, most of the question that you are going to create, you are going to use do and does. But what happens if in a sentence you have a B form? ¿Qué sucede si, por ejemplo, en una de las oraciones que está ahí, Aparece una forma de el be. Are you going to still use do or does or not? No. Ah, okay. We only... The, the verb. Ah, okay. The be for. The, 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 the be for. The oh. or the, or the person. Oh, okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, I'm going to give you time in order that you can create question and then we are going to check it to be sure that you are doing well.
Okay, if you want, we can make a review about how to create yes, no question if you have some doubts about it. But it's up to you, just tell me. If you consider that we can make a review, I got um, the material to do it in order to refresh your memory and that you can remember, but it's up to you. Hello. Hello, sure. yeah, I, I believe that all of you know exactly how to create a question, but uh, for the one that maybe has yeah. some doubts, uh, I would like to share with you some information in order to make uh, a review about this topic of a simple just no question. I'm going to tell me yes a few minutes in order to show you this, in order that you can refresh your memory. Para que se refresca un poco la memoria. Yes, no question, no question to which the answer is yes or not. In making yes, no question, there are three steps. The first one is if there is only one verb in the sentence and it happened to be. Is a be bear. Simply switch the position of the subject and the be bear. Si solo tenemos un verbo y casualmente este es el del verbo, es una de las formas del verbo be, look, what we are going to do is just to switch the position. Lo que vamos a hacer es solamente cambiar la posición. Like in this case, she is smart, is she smart? They are good friend. Are they good friend? Anne was sick. Was Anne sick? This is uh, this is the first 
Okay, let, let us see the, the next one. The second step, if there are two verbs in the sentence, switch the position of the first verb in the subject. For example, they were watching a movie. If we are, they are talking about the past progressive. Her sister can sing well. Can her sister sing well? She had waited for Tom. Had she waited for Tom? I should clean my room. Should I clean my room? Remember that it's just a review, okay? And the third one, and the third step said, if there is only one bear in the sentence and it is in the form of option bear or uh, have bear, no fair if the subject is singular or plural, and if the action happened in the present or in the past. For example, does. We use does to talk about singular subject and option. It is in the present tense. We can use do to talk about plural subject and option in present tense. And sometimes we can see did the action in the past tense regardless of the subject part. These are the three steps. And we have some examples, she has a car. And the examples, does she have a car? The subject she is singular and the verb has is in the present form. That's why we use does. Por eso es que usamos das. And an example, Ted eats breakfast at seven in the morning. And the question is, we use the auxiliary, does Ted eat breakfast at seven in the morning? Remember the subject Ted in this sentence is singular and the option eats happen in the present. That's why we use uh, Das. It is just in order that you can have an idea. And another example, they play soccer every afternoon. And we are going to use do. Do they play soccer every afternoon? The subject they is plural and the option play happen in the present. That's why we use do. In this case, for example, she told in her secret. Did, did, did she tell in her secret? You already know when we use did, the verb here is going to be in present, okay? And the action in the sentence happened in the past, told. That's why we use did. And well, Maybe we don't need to talk about WH word question because right now you don't need it. It's just a brief, a brief explanation in order that you can create some sentences. And also I would like to show you the material that we have here where you are going to write down your question. We have here, Question about Mr. Perez and the first one said, does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? And we have the answer right here. Yes, he does. Another question, is he a leader? Yes, he is. And this thing happened with uh, Mrs. Solano. Is Mrs. Solano commitment to, to work? Yes, she is. Does she focus on her responsibilities? Yes, she does. Yeah, you can see you write down here the question and the answer is going to be here. Okay, continue working. And I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know that you are so concentrated to do then creating question. But if you have uh, any though, just let me know to explain you how to do it.
if you want, we can we can uh, create a question at the same time. Uh, you can share the answer in order that we can uh, continue working together as a team. Or later on, you can compare with somebody else. It's up to you. Uh, teacher, uh, podría ser, does Mr. Perez like to work in a group on his joy job? Uh, yes, he does. Yes, the question is right. Mm -hmm. uh, la otra que dice fue, does Mr. Perez focuses on his responsibility? Yes, he does. How, how do you start the question? 
does Mr. Perez focuses on his responsibility? Okay, remember this. Remember this, when you use an auxiliary at the beginning like do and does, the inflection of the verb disappears. Cuando usamos un auxiliar como do o das, ya el inflection que tenía el verbo, en este caso podría ser S o S, desaparece. Oh, okay. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Uh, ok. Thank you. You got some example there. You can, you can see it. Somebody else want to share your ideas about this? Okay, let me see what you have. Remember that you are going just to write down uh, five more questions for each of them. That means there are, are going to be 10 and 10 answer. By the way, today is the opportunity to Marlene Nicole to stay at the end of the class 10 minutes. Okay, teacher. So please, if you have a question, just look it up your notes and get ready at the end. Sure. You tell me if I am wrong or correct with the sentence. With the question. Um, that's all with the questions. Sorry. Okay. That's that's always Raul come late to work. Hmm. Is that 
Yes. I have to skip a verse always. Does mm -hmm. always Raul come late to work? Yeah, it could be right in that way. Another way to, to ask this question could be uh, how often Raul come late? If we are expecting to use a, if you are expecting to use an adverb, but in this case you are you are right. But if I want that every any person that uh, if I want that the answer should be like a short answer, like yes. Yeah, he does or no, he, he does. Doesn't. Oh no, he doesn't. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. That's in that case, I have to. Yeah, you, you, you to can be say more specific. Yeah, yeah, more specific. You can you can say, does uh -huh. Raul does Raul come late? Could be also in that way. Okay. Does Raul come late? Okay. Does Raul? Uh, in the other way. Is he is he always home to at work? Yeah, could be too. Because you are using a bit form. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Somebody else, please tell me. Let us see what you have because later on you need to do another uh, task. How many? How many questions do you have now? Okay. What we are going to do is this. Uh, I'm going to create a breakout room, and you are going to compare each other. And you are going to help each other too, okay? Let me switch. Giovanni Salon. Okay, here we go. Try to compare.
Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Hello, hello, hello. I need that you share your ideas. Right. Hello. Hi, teacher. I've been seeing you very busy. That means that you have something in your notebook. And I want to hear it. I, I, it, me teacher. Okay, do it. For example, is, is Mr. Perez punctual? Uh, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay. Or I don't know. Maybe the 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 los compañeros pueden opinar según las X también. Por yeah, ejemplo, okay. uh -huh, does Miss Karen viola rules? And, and the answer. The answer. Yes, could... yes she does. Or... Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is what I want, the interactions. One of you is going to read question and somebody else is going to give answer. Uh, for example, does Ms. Mr. Perez follow indications? And the answer, yes, he does. Only that. Picture. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, um, let me start the another activity because uh, I need that you have enough time to do it. For the next activity, uh, what you are going to do is this. But so please, I need that you share the information with me. Hold on a second. I don't know what's going on here with my presentation. I don't see it here. I got it. I got it here. What you are going to do, it is something similar we did yesterday, but now I need that all of you do it and read it here. What you are going to do, you are going to write a, a seven line paragraph about the employee behavior maps. Is that clear? Based on the information that we have in the book, you are going to write down a seven like paragraph and you are going to use connector in order to join every sentence you can start doing now because uh, we have 15 minutes in order to do it but of course, you are going to finish uh, at the half of the time because we need to, to read it.
Okay. En español lo que van a hacer es escribir un párrafo de siete líneas acerca del desempeño del trabajo, de la información que tenemos a, ahí. Acerca de cómo se desempeña cada uno de ellos. In order to see if you are able to connect all the ideas into a paragraph. Okay, go ahead and do it. Remember that if you have a question, just let me know. You can use the information that you have there and you are going to use Connector in order to join it.
two minutes left. Well, I consider that you already wrote some ideas. Because of the time, uh, I don't know if somebody wants to share what you have. Marlin? Yes, I try. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, Mr. Perez is an excellent person because in his performance, he shows that that is a good leader in the job. He is always punctual and all the time is focuses on his responsibilities. Two, he gives many ideas when we are in the meetings and he has a positive attitude and is what what us like to him. Okay, excellent. Thank I you. like, I like, I like. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Okay, Mas. It can uh, be numerical. Excuse me? I didn't hear you very well. It can be numerical, uh, the performance. Um, Alexa Bolaños in, in Puntual 10. Uh, uh, basic function or, or assignment, complete the work, nine, y sacar una nota. No puede ser también eso un, como una evaluación. Yeah, it could be also. Okay. Is proactive, nine. Follow indication, nine. Has a positive attitude, night. Um, does not violate rules. Ten. Likes to work in group, night. How do you say total? I'm sorry? How do you say total? The total. total. The total. The total, night, is excellent. Okay, could be the total or also could be the average, el promedio. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, great, yes. Thank you. And the last person who wants to share, we have only just two minutes. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the attendance because we don't have enough. More time to do this. Let me see here. I got it here. Okay, Ana Cristina. 
Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Uh, Fátima. Present. Giovanni Alexander. Gerson Manuel. No, Juan Carlos. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Linda. Present. Present. Present teacher. Okay, María Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present. Nancy. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. And Suleima Veronica Melga. Okay, okay. Well, we have finished this session. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá. No, no hay preguntas. No hay preguntas. Okay. Ok, entonces en español decirles que eh, notas suyas estarán actualizadas el día de mañana ya temprano hasta la semana que hemos terminado y les pido de favor que para la próxima vayamos al día ya que eh, tan pronto finalicemos El siguiente día en la mañana hasta las 8 le damos el cierre. Y es importante que estén al día porque eh, los datos se van a enviar en esas fechas. Y como la mayoría de, de, de personas que, de la empresa, pues, eh, bueno, ya ellos están ahí solo esperando entregar todos los reportes y irse de vacación. Así es que por la época es necesario ir yo sé que están es cuando más están ocupados por sus eh, trabajos sí, pero vamos. habrá habrá que agarrar ahí un poco de tiempo para eh, hacer las actividades verdad y ya después del viernes tendrán oportunidad de, de descansar de acostarse más temprano para tener energía y la próxima semana cuando ya sea el 24, 25 estén ready otra vez ¿sí? ok ya van a estar acostumbrados al desvelo ¿sí? <risa> yeah. así es que agradecerles eh, muy buenas sus participaciones me gusta mucho eso eh, se los he dicho siempre Eh, la forma más importante de poder desarrollar un idioma es precisamente practicando, leyendo, hablando, diciendo lo que pienso, sin miedo a los errores que puedan haber, ¿verdad? Así es que sigamos en esto, nos queda una semana todavía, hay oportunidad de poder desarrollar eh, lo que no pude decir o no quise decir esta semana, pues ya la otra Eh, cuando haya oportunidad, levanto la manito y comento y adelanto. Así es que, good night. I hope to see you the next week. Bye bye. bye. See you later. Bye bye. I, on, I only good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. I want to talk with uh, Marlene Nicole Rivera Espinosa. Happy weekend. Okay. Okay, the rest, good night, good night, bye bye, see you later. Have sweet, sweet dreams, dulce sueños, y nosotros seguimos. <laughs> okay, and hello, Mar Marlene. I don't know if you have any question or any doubt. I think not, I don't have a question. 
No hay preguntas, no hay dudas. Ok. Excelente. Claro. Ok. Ok. Excelente. Por ahorita sí. For right now. What you can do is just uh, you can practice speaking in a fluency way. You can talk about the topic that you want. And I want to to see you speaking English. I know that you are able to do it. <laughs> yes, in my, uh, I practice today in the regular verse and pronunciation. Okay. It's, it's very difficult when the ending is E, D, D, or T in pronunciation. Yeah, uh, we have three different ways how to pronounce it. Yeah? D, T, and E, D. Mm -hmm. And all depend on the, the ending. Uh -huh. yeah. Es, sí, es lo único que me cuesta por ahorita. Pero pienso que eh, cuando si lo practico, es más fácil. Yes, suddenly you are going to use it in a conversation. And that way you are going to increase your vocabulary also. Because uh, sometimes it, uh, we don't differentiate the way how to, to pronounce the word. For example, you say, uh, I, I work, I work, you know, I, I work a lot yesterday. And, 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 and the sound stop and you need to pronounce T, I worked, yeah? And that way you understand better. But when we are speaking with an American, sometimes it's really difficult to understand mm -hmm. because they don't uh, emphasize in some sounds. For example, it's, dif it's difficult to know when they are saying can and can't because they never pronounce it. They say, no, I, 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 can, I can do it. They don't say, I can't do it. Yes, I know. Um, my boyfriend is doing though. <laughs> Cuando, when is is talking, it's como, I don't know. <laughs> no lo entiendo. Mm -hmm. No entiendo para mucho inglés. Porque yo sé que, que, aparte que hablan muy rápido, no se le entienden mucho las palabras, como que las cortan. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's a different way how they speak. But the problem is that if I try, I start doing or speaking that way in this level, con que aún yo trato de ir así como despacio y hay muchos que dicen, ay no, que solo inglés y yo no entiendo. Pero cuando ya estén en otro nivel, you are going to see the different, the different way how people can speak English. That is not going to be in the same way as basic. And somewhere maybe we are going to say it in different way. For example, I was telling you some words like attitude. In this level, you say aptitude, but in, in, in advanced level, you are going to say my attitude about this is gonna be this. And also you are not going to say it's going to be, it's gonna be. Hay un montón de palabras que se usan así, de esa manera. Uh -huh. y el para, mí, es... para mí, personalmente, siento que sí, en este nivel es como que ha hablado más inglés. Y es mejor porque uno se va memorizando las palabras o va dando las ideas que... para la clase. Porque sí, en, otro, en el nivel pasado creo que sí hablaba más español. <ríe> y ahora es más inglés. Sí, yeah, y en el next one not Spanish at all, mm -hmm. not Spanish at all. Sí, aunque es un poco difícil, pero siento que es mejor para also, uno mismo. It's gonna be better, but the problem is that you don't have a dictionary. You remember that I, I have told you to get a vocabulary every day. You are going to write down all the words that you don't know, and then you are going to look for uh, a way how to pronounce it. And talking about that, I, I have forgotten to send you a, a link, a web page. Se me ha escapado de enviarles un link donde ustedes solo van a escribir la palabra 
Y ahí mismo le dan clic para oírla, cómo se pronuncia. Nadie me recordó hasta ahora que estamos hablando otra vez esto, pero sí ya la tengo ahí. Eh, es muy fácil, usted solo escribe la palabra y cuando ya le aparece el significado, usted solo le da clic y ya se la pronuncia. Entonces eso ayuda mucho. Así es. Y practique lo más que pueda, trate de, 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 de hablar ahí con, el, con ese muchachón para que se aprenda un montón de palabras. Sí, pero además que también mi hermano está estudiando, es como... Oh, pero él está allá ahorita en Estados Unidos y es como ayer estábamos hablando de eso y me dice que es totalmente diferente el inglés que, que estudiamos a cómo lo hablan allá. Mm, all depends. Mm. All, all, all depend because, well, I've been in a scholarship two different times. Yo he tenido dos becas eh, en diferentes momentos. Uh -huh. Y bueno, yo no he tenido ningún problema. Estar en una universidad allá me ha dado ningún problema. It is the same way that I'm speaking here. And also I had the opportunity to work in an American company. And I didn't have any problem. Esas son algunas palabras que como le digo, la forzan o las decimos de otra manera. Sí, pero eso es cuando ya eh, eh, existe algo, le voy a explicar así rapidito. Cuando ya llegamos a un nivel avanzado, hay una parte que se llama como coloquial. ¿Sí? Entonces ya... Ahora. Entonces, ahora. Es como, porque ya estaba viendo un, una película y salía una frase como, I'm gonna be okay. Ajá. Como... ¿Qué significa gana? Y, y me puse a investigar y sí hablaba del lenguaje coloquial, como decir, en vez de decir I'm going to o I'm going, se usaba como I'm gonna, wanna, así, así gotta. Ajá. Kinda, en vez de decir kind of, kinda, etcétera. Entonces eso es, lo, eso es lo coloquial. Eh, cuando uno llega a un nivel avanzado, entonces de ahí comienza ya a meterse y en otras cosas como esas. Eh, ahí el detalle. Así es que, poco a poco. Eh, hay que hacer de sí. Cada nivel se aprende algo diferente, pero si usted ha notado en este nivel, he tratado como de irlos presionando un poco para que se vayan enrolando y desarrollando más su, su speaking. Porque ya cuando lleguen al siguiente nivel de intermedio, no les cuesta. ¿Verdad? Porque ahí los temas ya son más amplios, usted ya tiene que hablar más. Y así es. Ok, thank you very much to be here okay, with me. Ok, you're welcome. <laughs> ok, I hope to see you next week. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye.